Have you ever seen this video? なんとなく生きてんじゃないですか。迷ってんじゃないですか。生き生きさい。簡単ですよ。Or this one? ずっとやってみろ。必ず目標達成できる。だからこそ。ネバギバ。If it's the first time you see this guy, let me quickly break it down to you. His name is Shuzo Matsuota, and a part of being A road tennis player. Apparently, he's also a motivational speaker. And even though these videos may seem kind of goofy, they actually convey a very important message. So in the first one, he tells you to start living life, and he says that you shouldn't focus on your past because it will just turn into anger and regret about stuff that you haven't done, about stuff that you failed. You'll just get mad at yourself and you'll start hating yourself. But you also shouldn't overthink about the future because that will just turn to worry. Like, oh, will I be fine? Will this succeed? Will this be alright? And the way to live life is to live in the present moment. And yeah, of course, you've heard that a billion of times. But what exactly does it mean? It means that instead of focusing on what you could have done or what you can do in the future. You need to start doing what you love today. The first chapter of the book I like, The Way of the Superior Man, is called "Stop Hoping for Accomplishment of Anything in Life." Meaning, there is no end, there is no when. It's not, oh, when I finish school, then I'll start my business, then I'll become an entrepreneur, then I'll start making like something of myself. Oh, when I retire, then I'll. Have time for my hobbies. Then I will actually start doing what I love. When I'm 60 something years old. Oh, when I age, then I will finally have time for why. You you can't be living like that. It's you have to do it now because otherwise you will regret that I you haven't done it or you will just daydream about doing it in the future and you will never actually start doing it. 過去のことを思っちゃダメだよ。なんであんなことしたんだろうって怒りに変わってくるから。未来のことも思っちゃダメ。大丈夫かな？あは、不安になってくるでしょ。Number one most common regret of dying old people is that they wish they hadn't spent their time trying to please others' expectations. And if you do your whole life not actually doing what you love. Whatever that may be, maybe you wanna travel, maybe you wanna experience something, become a an... boxer, become a like study a language, become a doctor, whatever that may be. If you have some expectations put onto you that are stopping you from doing that, bro, the, you cannot be living life like that. Honestly, like imagine this life story that you would tell somebody like you dropped out of school to become a fucking boxer, like. Imagine you escape to a different country, like flown there without basically any luggage, unprepared to learn a language. Their build that would be fucking awesome. And imagine you actually pull that off and tell that story in the future. That's the life to be living. When I understood it, I actually became happy. I was always like, oh, like I'll do it when I have more time, and then I would waste my time fucking watching YouTube videos like this one or playing video games. I would always say that my Japanese is not that great to be making content, to be speaking it to people, to be teaching it to people, like sharing something that I've learned. I was always like, I'm not jacked enough. Like I haven't been going to the gym enough to actually be proud of my physique, and that's complete bullshit. Like I'm not experienced enough to be making YouTube videos. I'll do it in the future. I'll do it when something changes. But I broke those limiting beliefs. By the way, my name is Tomet, and now I'm actually living life, making videos about self-improvement and Japanese. And also, if that interests you, you should join my community, which is made for ambitious, based Japanese learners who are also on self-improvement. It's the first link in the description, and it's literally my dream to create this community and be a part of it. I would love to see you inside. And now about the second video, which I think conveys an even greater message, which is to never give up. And you've heard it a billion, more billion, fucking gazillion times. But what exactly does it mean? In his video, Shuzo subtly explains why it's so important. 
he says that you're almost there, that you just have to try a little bit harder. Most as you done, but the Miraya. And it's because all that is holding you from achieving your goals is this invisible wall that you encounter somewhere on your journey. This wall makes you feel like you've stopped making progress, like you're not getting anywhere, that it makes you just feel hopeless. And it is exactly when you realize that you're in front of this wall and when you break it, when you try a little bit harder, that's when you see the amazing progress, that's when you level up. Shuzo is harvesting clumps in minus 10 degrees, but for you it might be something else. Like it might be you're not making money that you want to be making. It might be that you're not seeing results when studying at school. It may be that you're not making any gains at the gym and you're just so unmotivated by that. And that's the opportunity itself. This is when you have to push through and you will see amazing progress when you try hard, when you discipline yourself, when you actually break that invisible barrier. Because the amazing thing is that in life, everybody wants to be rich, everybody wants to be good looking, judged, everybody wants to be knowledgeable. But 99% of people stop at this barrier that they encounter and that is your chance to get ahead, that is your chance to actually level up and this is where all this success lies and your whole life your whole chasing your goals should be about finding these barriers and breaking them that's what life is about you've never expected it to be easy you never expected to never have any difficulties any struggles i really hope that this video has somehow opened your eyes and with the help of the japanese motivation guy You've broken some limiting beliefs and you will see progress. So, start living and never give up. And if you've watched this video till the end, I'm confident that you'd love to be a part of our community. If you join now, you're still early, the community is still growing, I'm in the process of creating it and you will be able to experience for yourself it becoming something great. I repeat you that this is literally my dream. I feel alive when I'm creating this for you. I wanna educate people, I wanna share my insights. I want to help everybody skyrocket their goals in Japanese. I want them to save time that I couldn't save before that maybe be at the level that I am after a way longer time that I needed. So if you're based, if you're ambitious, and if you watch this video till the end, then you probably fucking are, because most people, like, their attention span can't handle it. If you wanna skyrocket your progress in Japanese and in life, then I'd love to see you inside, bro. So, go and live your dream life right now. See ya.